Can you give me an example of what he said? No, I don't want to say those things to you, especially not in the office. Did you tell him that you... Dr. Everett Cruz is meeting with his patient, Chris Randall, who is a coach at the local high school. Coach Randall has just finished having his teeth cleaned by Pamela, the dental hygienist. Pamela has a problem, which she needs to discuss immediately. I'm sorry to keep you from your appointment, Dr. C, but there's something I need to talk to you about. All right, but let's hurry. I don't want to get behind schedule today. While I was cleaning Coach Randall's teeth today, he said some things to me that were um, way off base. In what way? They were offensive, like sexual. He kept saying these very inappropriate things to me that had these sexual overtones. I think he was just trying to get a rise out of me, but he needs to know what he said was really improper and very out of line. I don't want him to be my patient anymore. Can you give me an example of what he said? No, I don't want to say those things to you, especially not in the office. Did you tell him that you were offended by what he was saying? Sort of, but he needs to know he was way out of line. Pamela, I'm very sorry that you're so upset, and I'm glad you told me. Got a problem, Doc? Well, a bit of one, I'd say. I already know what you're going to say to me. I heard you guys. Come on, Doc. She's a real cutie. You have the prettiest girls working here. That's why I like being here. <laughs> hey, it's just who I am. I don't mean anything by it. It's like the waitress at the diner who calls everybody hun. People don't like me. They just ignore me. Besides, I always back off when somebody lets me know I really offended them. I'm not as stupid as some people think I am. Well, how might Dr. Cruz handle this? You may pause the video here and consider the options, or you may continue on to the next section. Here are some possibilities that may have occurred to you. Perhaps it would be beneficial to rate each possibility as absolutely, you are entirely in agreement, probably, you think it is a good idea, 50-50, you are not sure, doubtful, you don't think it is a good idea, or no way, you entirely disagree. You may pause the video after each possible solution to consider the implications of each option. Should Dr. Cruz write a certified letter dismissing Coach Randall from the practice and explaining that sexual harassment is illegal? Have a serious talk with the coach, explaining how the hygienist feels and warning that future transgressions will result in termination as a patient. Encourage the hygienist to make her feelings clearer to the patient and offer to help her become more assertive. Call a staff meeting to discuss the issue. Or is there nothing the dentist can do directly since this is an employee-customer situation. Now let us rate the importance of each of these contributing factors as you weigh what is important in your considerations. Rate each one as decisive, important, not clear, little importance, or irrelevant. These contributing factors are as follows. The reputation of the profession in the community, civil liberties, and personal autonomy. Employee morale. Legal considerations. Verbal skills and confidence of the dentist and the hygienist. The dentist's personal standards of interpersonal respect. Many dental practitioners face ethical dilemmas such as this one on any given day. Anticipating how you might deliberate to find a suitable resolution to any such dilemma is good preparation and can aid each practitioner to find their way out of the challenging questions they sometimes must face.